Joining us now on the line for a Zambia Market Update is Christabel Banda. She's the Executive Director of the Insurers Association of Zambia. Uh, Christabel, thanks for your time. Earlier on in the show, we were talking about insurance penetration in Kenya sitting at about 1%. Uh, what is the landscape in, in Zambia? Are we looking at the same types of penetration in insurance? Yes, yes, it's pretty much the same. Our penetration levels are also quite very low. We are just slightly above uh, 1% um, in terms of the insurance uh, penetration in the country. So it is quite low, and uh, that's why we're trying, as industry t stakeholders, to come up with initiatives to try and uh, improve the uptake of uh, insurance among uh, Zambians. Mm. Christabel, why is that? Why is penetration so low? And, and tell us about some of these innovations. What are they doing to address this issue? Okay, there, there are many factors actually that contribute, um, uh, you know, to the low penetration levels. There's also the low insurance culture in the country, and uh, you know, in some cases, you find that uh, people are just not aware about the benefits of insurance. In some cases, they're just also not aware of the products that are offered. And uh, you know, so as an industry, obviously, we're trying to see what we can do to to ensure that that changes. And some of the initiatives that we've put in place include um, holding an insurance week. Um, which is a week aimed at just raising awareness of insurance in the country and promoting um, 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 insurance among the different segments um, um, in the country. So we are holding this week from the 15th uh, of September up to Friday. So we have various uh, sensitization activities that are, have been lined up across the country. So with low penetration, there's obviously a lot of opportunity there. How have the uh, insurance companies in Zambia been performing? Um, they have, the market has been growing. Obviously, with um, um, increased, um, um, we've got a number of, um, a couple of companies that have come on the market. In the last five years, the, the, the numbers have increased. I think, to currently, we are sitting at around 27 insurance companies um, from levels, uh, below 15 about five years ago. So it is a, an exciting time, um, you know, with the low penetration levels and, you know, you, uh, uh, players are coming up with different innovative products to try and uh, 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 entice or to try and sort of appeal to, to, to the insuring public. So uh, it is quite an exciting time and our regulations are, uh, the legislation in the insurance market are currently going under a lot of, um, they are going under updates. So we should be able to get our new um, insurance um, act next year. The one that we are currently using is being updated. So it is, a, it is quite exciting and we, we are hoping that all these interventions will help improve the penetration levels in the country. How is the uh, micro insurance uh, space or sector uh, doing at the moment in comparison with, uh, for example, life insurance? Okay, so what we did in Zambia, we have a, uh, we set up about uh, five years ago, we set up a multi-stakeholder uh, group that uh, is spearheading the development of micro-insurance in the country. So we have seen quite a number of um, improvements in that space because uh, we have this orderly development of micro-insurance and currently uh, there's uh, some micro-insurance regulations that the regulator is working on to try and uh, ensure that... Uh, the growth of microinsurance is encouraged. And we have a number of companies that are now also beginning to offer microinsurance. So uh, it is an upcoming market. And if you look at the Zambian population, you find that most of the, of the, of the, of the uh, um, population is employed in the informal sector. And uh, the conventional insurance, you find uh, it's got products that are tailored to people in the formal sector. So if we are going to capture the informal sector, which is the majority, uh, they, they need to develop the microinsurance space to ensure that we, we provide um, insurance that suits that particular mm -hmm. segment. Christabel, thanks so much. Uh, Christabel Banda, she's the executive director of the uh, insurance uh, development, or rather, the director of uh, Insurers Africa, or oh, Association of Zambia. There we go.